this is delicious. Where is she? Hey, what's going on? So good to see you. By the way, I took the privilege of ordering you one as well. Two sugars with a pinch of half and half. I hope you don't mind. And yeah, tell me what's going on. How's how's everything? How's things? What? Can't hear you. You know what's on my mind? Scientific notation. Now, why is scientific notation important? Well, in science, it turns out that the numbers are generally much larger, much smaller uh, than we're used to dealing with in everyday life. I mean, imagine writing out one quintillion, right? It would be one with 15 zeros after it. Instead, we can simply write one times 10 raised to the 15th power. It's so much more convenient. So what I want to teach you today is I'm going to teach you how to convert from a number into scientific notation. And we can use a four-step process in order to do so. So step one, the first part is to identify where the decimal is in the value you're given. If you don't see a number, put in the decimal at the end of the value. Simple. The next step is, step two will be to place then times 10 raised to a number at the end of the value. Now if that's already there, all you need to do is simply skip to the next part. Step three, that is. And what is step three? Well, step three is now what we like to call bunny hops, right? What you have to do is you have to move the decimal into the proper place for scientific notation. And remember that proper scientific notation has the form of a number followed by a decimal, then followed by however many numbers you like, including no numbers, actually. All right? And then, last but not least, step four, right? If you bunny hop to the left, you have to then add those number of bunny hops to the exponent of 10. If you move then to the right, you have to subtract the number of bunny hops from the exponent. And that's it. It's literally that simple. So now, what happens if we have to go the other way? Meaning, if we have to take a value in scientific notation and convert it back into a number. Well, it turns out we can follow a very simple three-step process this time. Right? So the first thing what you have to do is you have to identify the number on the exponent of 10. If the number is negative, that's going to tell you the number of bunny hops you have to make in order to move the decimal, and you have to move then to the left. If the exponent is positive, then it's going to be the exact opposite, or it's going to tell you the number of bunny hops you have to make to the right. Now, after you make those bunny hops, the second step then is going to be a place in zeros as placeholders for those bunny hops. And last but not least, the third step, literally just get rid of times 10 raised to whatever the power was. Just bye-bye. See you later. Oh. So now, all that's left is just some practice. All you have to do then is take some values, convert them into scientific notation, and then also take some values that are already in scientific notation and convert them back into values. All right? Check out the description below. I left you a link. All right? And by the way, it was really great seeing you again. All right? I do hope this video helps, and cheers. Ah, oh, damn, that's good. <laughs>